Directly ahead, the very liberal Congressman Dennis Kucinich will tell us whether he thinks Obama will govern sharply left. Personal story segment tonight, the far left versus moderate Democrats, which side will win Obama's attention today? Far left move on outfit said it raised $88 million for Mr. Obama, and you know those people are going to want some payback. Joining us now from Cleveland, Congressman Dennis Kucinich. All right, so you just heard Carl Rove say that you're going to be one of the far left guys pushing Obama that direction, that you're going to want investigations and all of this business. Is that true? You know, Carl Rove, who I respect as a person who participates in the affairs of the nation, uh, he seems to be too sensitive about the prospect of indictments. And I, I think that we've got to focus on this economy, frankly, Bill. I mean, it, the, the economy is in trouble. The market again drops 486 points today. Why do you think that uh, happened? Got to why, do why do you think the market drops? I, I, think, I think investors are having trouble getting confidence because you've got the government picking winners and losers. This bailout was wrong to begin with. Banks are hoarding money. They're using it to buy up other banks. Bailout money's going for bonuses. I mean, what's going on here? The American I don't know. people have I mean, to ask. I'm trying what's to figure it out, but is Obama up to turning the economy around? I mean, oh, I think, think, he, I think he's got it. I think he'll have a team that'll do it. You know what? And, he, and we, we have to. Let me tell you why. You've got millions of Americans whose homes are in jeopardy. We've got to do something about uh, directing loan modifications to keep people in their homes, help them get, make sure they can pay a lower interest rate, lower principal, but keep them in their homes. Uh, listen, I'm, I, don't agree, to, I don't disagree with any of that. I just don't know how quickly this is going to happen. But I'm happy to hear you say oh, you're not going to waste wait. time on a bunch of fishing expeditions. And no, you know what? We don't have garbage. time for that. You, because we you're right. We have to get what's going on. We have to get, what's you going have on. to get down and, and give the folks relief. All right, now. Right. You're, you're going to have, you're gonna have tension. You're going to have tension between moderate uh, Democrats and, and, you know, committed left-wing guys like you. Because in no, addition to fixing the economy, and I don't say that disparagingly, you're upfront about your views. Uh, but you in know a what? The American, it, that American eagle has left, a left wing, left and, a right wing and a right wing. Absolutely. I'm not, I'm not saying that in any disparaging, sneering so, so way. Let, so let the eagle soar, as uh, a former attorney general right, would have said. Just don't want to soar over my head because you know what can happen then. Um, <laughs> you basically have this tension, and, and it is there, um, because along with helping folks with their mortgages and getting the economy moving again you have a bunch of promises by barack obama that he's going to fund all kinds of programs and add another trillion dollars to the deficit now taking as much money as he can from me ain't going to pay that bill so I, i'm i'm along with a lot of other americans very uneasy about his governance what he's going to do can you reassure me well i think the first thing and you said at the beginning of your program you know, you have to give him a chance. We have to see what his economic policies will be. I will submit that he's going to have to look at how you can create jobs, how you can rebuild America's infrastructure. What do you do about protecting our basic industries, steel, automotive, aerospace? We don't protect those. Our national security is adversely affected. So he is, he's being handed a set of circumstances. He's got to look at them. He's got to get it as it is. He, this isn't about left right. I, I'm telling you, Bill. No, it's for, about for, whether he can do the job or not. That's what it's about. Well, I agree. But, but I, look, I'm it, agreeing it, with no, you it more it tonight than I've ever agreed with you. I'm agreeing with you I, more I, tonight than I'm ever that I've I'll ever agreed that. with you. Okay. I'll take that. He's but got I'll also to tell prove, you, Bill O'Reilly. Yeah, he's got I'll to. He's got to Bill. prove to the American people, to the, the markets, and to the world that he's up for it and that he's going to be very specific in what he does. And I'm telling you what, when you have a, a warfare within your own party, the Democratic Party, where you've got the far left loons wanting one thing and the moderates wanting the other thing, it's going to be hard for Barack Obama. It's going to be hard for him. Every democracy under any administration has a dynamic tension which produces a synthesis which hopefully brings about public policy which serves all the people. That's the nature of democracy. And at the same time, I don't think it serves to disparage any faction within the Democratic Party because the truth of the matter is, the party's going to have to unite behind Barack Obama. I may not agree with him on everything. But it's got to tilt move, one way or the other, and that's well, what you people know what, are though, worried about. We shouldn't be fearful about that, because what we have to I do, we have that. to, pro Bill, you shouldn't be fearful. You're am. not a fearful I'm person. I'm scared to death that not, I'm going to be living Bill in San Francisco not on Long Island. I don't want no, San Francisco it, values. I don't want socialism. I don't want any of this stuff. So I have a you know right what, to be then, then, then why? Then you should have been complaining about uh, George Bush, who basically oh, you know, made Bush. a socialist Look, move to let give me break a bailout this to, to the Congressman. banks. 
President Bush is gone. It's over. He's leaving. Now we have a new guy. We have to worry. There's about. not going to be socialism. We got to make the economy work for everyone, Bill. All right. We have you on and tape. I think Obama has to do that. We have you on tape, and we we pray you're right. Congressman, always good to see you. Thanks for coming on. Plenty more as the fact moves along this evening.